So we're actually um, actively inviting people to participate in this. And so people have been um, essentially randomly entered into a draw essentially across the state in a way that represents the state as a whole. And so the only way to be in the study is actually to be uh, selected, if you will, through this random drawing. Um, and if you're selected, you'll actually get a mailer, in, a postcard in the mail, uh, together with a letter and possibly uh, even a third uh, postcard. And that's your invitation. It'll have a QR code on it. You can just scan or a phone number you can call. And those are the people we really want to investigate and, and, and see and really provide them some information about um, their experience with COVID. Who are the people infected? Where are they? What are their characteristics? And, and we really need to know these things because we really need to prepare. Um, if there's a wave in the fall, we need to be ready. And we need to understand this information that'll help us be ready for whatever the next pandemic might be. We want to do a couple of things with the information. First of all, we want to get the information back to the communities that we're working with. So we have a lot of uh, interest in reaching out, for example, with uh, the tribal uh, communities, um, as well as underrepresented minorities and, and other populations that are at high risk within the state. So with each of those, we'll be reaching out with the information specific to, um, to their uh, people, as well as the state as a whole. We're providing information to um, the state um, so that plans can be made for the fall um, to be sure that we're prepared if COVID does come back uh, in a big way, we'll be ready for that. And then we're also using the information to ask, ask and then answer scientific questions, things like um, how does the immunity from a natural infection compare to that we get from a vaccine? Um, are there differences in how long protection lasts? Um, are there differences in the types of antibodies that are generated by the vaccine versus a natural infection? And these things are gonna be important to answer questions uh, that people are asking. For example, if I've had the infection, do I really need, need to get the vaccine? We think the answer is yes, but a study like this will provide even more information to support that. We should have the results from the first wave of testing uh, by fall. So the first wave of postcards have gone out. So some folks may have received those already. And if you have, please again, respond. Um, we're gonna come to you to do the sampling. So we'll actually contact you, work with you to find a time that's convenient. We will come to your home or a convenient place for you uh, and take the samples. So um, we're trying to make this as simple and, and easy as we can for folks. And hopefully if we can do that, the results will be ready uh, by fall so that this first set of decisions that can be made about schools and testing and, and, and keeping things open and all these things that we need to decide about, uh, we'll have as much information as we possibly can. We're really looking for those folks who get these postcards and get these letters, please respond. Um, the more people who respond to the postcard, the more valid our results are um, and the more efficient our study can, can, can happen and the quicker we can get the answers we need. So please respond if you get these postcards. Um, this is the University of Washington. It's a, it's a legit survey and we're, um, we're really doing this to help the health of the people of the state of Washington.